Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, I wanted to talk about a game in which I'm sure that a lot of you guys are probably not too familiar with. This is a game in which I did a reaction video to for its trailer back in 2016. And since then, I have been keeping a close eye on this game in particular, just to see exactly how the development's going and whether or not this project will eventually get released. It's kind of hard to say with indie-based game development studios Studios, but it seems to be that this game is still on track and with the recent GDC trailer I thought we'd sit down and talk about this furthermore because this is slowly becoming a very real thing Which is absolutely fantastic the game in which I'm talking about guys is lost soul aside now This was a one-man project originally this was surfaced in 2016 when a guy called Yang Bing the original creator of lost soul aside and the original developer of the game released the trailer displaying exactly what Lost Soul Aside was. Now, when the trailer first released, it blew a lot of people away. In fact, to this day, the very initial first trailer for Lost Soul Aside actually has about 3 million views on YouTube, so there certainly is a decent amount of people who know what this project is. Shortly after Yang Bing uploading the trailer, it gathered obviously a lot of attention, and even to the point where publishers were getting in contact with this guy wanting him to work for them to develop this game under their name. The big publishers that ended up getting in contact with Yang Bing were Epic Games as well as PlayStation. And back in 2016, Yang Bing posted out this little update. He said right here, hey friends, I got some messages asking about the progress. Actually, I have got support from Sony and will work on it with some other devs. So there will be a timed exclusive on PlayStation 4 and there will be multi-weapons. We'll try to finish the game in 2018 Thank you. So as of right now, Lost Soul Aside is currently on track with its development and still to this day is being made, which is an absolute treat to have because this game looks absolutely fantastic. It is a definite mix of Devil May Cry with its gameplay, as well as Final Fantasy XV when it comes to the style and aesthetics. This game is actually inspired by both Devil May Cry and Final Fantasy XV, and like I said, you can really see that in the gameplay. So Lost Soul Aside is going to be getting published by Sony, and currently as of right now in Japan, of Sony's China Hero Project, where they're getting a bunch of different Asian developers to create games to be published by that of Sony. And this is a really big deal. This is this is a huge deal because this project originally started off as a one-man thing. And now this guy is working under that of Sony, the big boys at PlayStation. And he actually now has a, a bit of a development team working behind him. He's working with around about 11 other people. So nowadays it's not a one-man project. But even looking at the recent GDC footage this game is looking so nice and to think that it's only being developed by around about 11 people overall is really really impressive for me personally I'm a big fan of hack and slash action type games uh, especially when looking towards any games that have that particular style similar to that of Devil May Cry or Bayonetta I absolutely love them and Lost Soul Aside is definitely a game that is fit into that category the combat is super fast and super snappy there's a lot of dodging going on it would seem like there's also different weapons you can utilize in the game as well as in the GDC trailer we actually got to see a couple of different weapons the normal sword we also got to see some gameplay of like a huge great sword being used as as well and on top of that we also got to see a sort of glaive spare sort of thing where it performs quick attacks you can zip through the air with it uh, this game is just looking really really cool I also feel like action hack and slash games games like Neo Automata Devil May Cry Bayonetta just games like that with that particular gameplay are kind of a thing of the past. I mean, I think Neo Automata was absolutely amazing because it had been such a long time since we'd last received such a decent hack and slash game. These games are definitely popping back in the PlayStation 2 era, but nowadays it's unfortunate you just don't really get to see them all too much. So it's really cool to see that Lost Soul Aside is another up and coming project that definitely retains that traditional hack and slash gameplay where there's a lot of pretty shit going on. The gameplay is super fast and smooth and you can just dip in there and flail your sword left, right, and center, it looks like a good time. And by the way, apparently the GDC footage, what we're seeing right here with uh, the main character being in this kind of little rock arena, uh, with the big boss and all of the enemies. Apparently this stage, or more so this area in this trailer, 
uh, was only specifically designed for the purpose of displaying what the combat and really the game is looking like uh, as of right now. So apparently this little section right here won't be in the final game, more so it was just developed for advertisement purposes. Now like Yang Bing said in his message back in 2016 where he was basically confirming that yes he now has support from Sony and he's going to be working with some other developers, he said in this message that they're trying to finish the game in 2018. Now we do know that the game is progressing smoothly when looking towards the development side of things, but as it stands, unfortunately Yang Bing hasn't actually announced or revealed any sort of release date, or more so even a release window for this yet. Personally, I don't believe that Lost Soul Aside will be completely done by 2018. This is what he initially said before actually jumping in to work with the studio itself to fully get on track with development with this project. So with him saying we will try finish the game in 2018, I would say that's more so of a rough estimate. I'm saying more so 2019 to 2020 are likely to be the years in which we'll actually finally see this game release. All in all though, I would say that we're definitely going to be seeing a lot more of Lost Soul Aside this year. 2017 was actually pretty quiet with this game, like not much information came out last year and not many trailers at all, so uh, 2018 will likely be a really great year for uh, Yang Bing to push promotion for this game to show us more about it and explain more to us to show us more of what this game is. However guys, that's all for today's video. Just thought I'd get this out because I'm sure that there is a few of you guys who probably don't know what Lost Soul Aside is and it's certainly a project that you guys should be keeping your eye on. The game is looking absolutely fantastic and if you are into hack and slash action games then this is certainly going to be a pick for you. If you guys want to keep up to date with all of the news and information to do with Lost Soul Aside then I recommend following the Lost Soul Aside Twitter account. What I will do is I'm going to leave that in the description down below. However guys, with all that being said, I'm Cynical. Hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hit him on the page, you'll be coming through stain. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Look, crank, gaming up the bitch though. Catch me in the back playing Super Nintendo.